What's up, world? Welcome to WW TDX. I'm the Dean. Yes, yes. Today's episode, we're going to solve an issue. I had it too. If you're trying to record and every time you press your pads or your keyboard, it's delayed. That's what's called latency. On this episode, I'm going to show you the proper settings so when you're recording, you can minimize that latency or alleviate it all together. Oh, yeah. Let's make this happen. And of course, if you haven't already, press that subscribe button, hit that notification bell. I appreciate everybody who subscribed or who's been riding with me. And definitely do this journey. It's been a journey and it's continuously growing. As you can see, it's continuous growth over here. So I appreciate everybody. And, um, but I'm not going to ramble too much. Let's get on to the show. Welcome. 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 I'm in the still. It's the bit rate. Gotta change it. Quite frankly, with the bit rate, and when you're recording, you need it on the lowest possible bit rate if needed on. I'll take you right here. You gotta go to your preferences. And go to audio. After you go to audio, your buffer size, you should set it when you're recording to 32. Set the IO buffer size to 32. But when you're playing back, you set it to 24. You set it to 32 because when you, as you can see, at 1024. When you set it to 32, it becomes 9.2 milliseconds round trip and 2 milliseconds output. Pretty much the human ear cannot hear that. So, And also another tip, when you're recording on a multi-threading option, you put playback and live tracks. So obviously, it's live track. So, yes. And that's how you alleviate your latency. You want a more optimized YouTube experience? Holla at your buddy, my buddy, to buddy. Click that link below. You get a discount. I get some change for that. Appreciate it all. For more videos of WWTDX and the stew, click these videos.